I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of waste management. In this session, you will be learning what do I mean by waste generation and uh, waste composition. Both are most important. So we will be understanding the fundamentals of waste generation and composition with the help of some block diagram and the basic concept. So regarding the waste generation, it's a first part of the, like uh, in the case of waste management. If I talk about the functional element of a solid waste management, we are talking about the waste uh, like a generation. That's the beginning. Anyway, there are different sources of uh, waste generation, you know, as you can observe uh, the residential area, mainly the residential area. Similarly, organization in the human activity. So definitely these are the different uh, like uh, due to the human activity at residential, commercial, industrial area. Obviously, we can say the waste is getting generated. So there are different sources available like municipal, hazardous, then industrial, like agricultural. So medical, radioactive, this we can say like a different type of waste. We already discussed about the source-based and type-based classification. So these are the various sources uh, you can highlight. Okay, uh, moving on to the further discussion. So we, as we can observe a block diagram, uh, which shows the gem waste generation at each and every stage. For every production, production and manufacturing in the industry, the input is raw material, of course. Okay, input is raw material. So suppose whenever I'm talking about the raw, raw material, some raw material that is not suitable for, for the production. At that time, that particular material becomes a waste. So the residue, it becomes like a, a residue or a waste. At the time of manufacturing also, few amount of waste that is also getting uh, like a separate. That is also considered as another type of waste. Once the uh, manufacturing process is completed, in the due to the logistic in the with the help of logistic and supply chain management it has to be reached to the consumer end okay production product product will be reached to the customer customer is the last like uh, what i can say it's the last channel in the for the business process so for the consumer also obviously the after usage waste will be available okay waste will be generated so that generated waste is going to be in the disposal stage uh, at the meantime we can say that uh, like uh, recycling process so from the consumer side, it is going to be collected. See, recycling from the consumer side. Okay, from the consumer side, again, uh, going for processing and recovery. Even as we can observe, uh, like uh, from the manufacturing side also, we have a possibility of secondary manufacturing for defected item. Okay, defected item, recycling, recycled items. Suppose you might have ordered something from the Amazon or any other uh, like a uh, ma marketing, like a uh, e commerce company, but you, you have an option for return. After returning what defective item you are going to return, then same thing will be actually for going for the secondary manufacturing. So, again, that is a recycling process. Secondary manufacturing things also will be reached to the customers. Again, this process will be uh, like uh, repeated. See, uh, then uh, this is actually regarding the final disposal. Okay, from the processing and recovery, again, waste is going to be generated. That is going to be connected to the manufacturer and the cycle will be repeated. So in this uh, block diagram, the main conclusion is from the each and every stages, there is a production of waste. There is a waste generation at each and every segment of the waste, ma waste management system for every type of like a... Uh, uh the basic uh, waste management uh, like uh, uh, basic waste management system if you observe each and every stage there is a production of waste that is a summary uh, which you can understand so another one is uh, if i talk about there is a pie diagram so in the year 2014 uh, i collected from one uh, survey from the survey i found that uh, the contribution of waste in uh, di uh, different uh, yeah, like a uh, different uh, sector different sector so around uh, 34 or 35 percentage uh, the waste is generated from the construction around 28.2 percentage of waste is generated from the mining and quarrying industry 10.2 percentage is generated from the manufacturing industry uh, 3.7 percent from the energy sector especially coal okay then fossil fuel etc uh, 9.1 percentage is belong to wastewater then 8.3 is from the residential area uh, then 0.8 percentage from the agriculture sector one percentage from the wholesale three per three point nine percent from the service sector so these are the approximate like a segmentation for the waste generation okay these are the different uh, sector where the waste is getting generated so regarding the uh, waste generation, these are the main thing you need to remember. So you have to mention that where, how does the waste produced, 
and uh, with the help of block diagram it is very clear that waste is going to be generated at each and every stages of waste management system uh, then the contribution we found that the construction field they are dominating especially if you go for city n number of constructions are taking place due to that there will be a heavy amount of concrete pieces concrete blocks cement etc that is considered as a huge waste now we are going to move on to the second part of the session that is waste composition what do you mean by waste composition composition in the sense we have a one kilogram of waste in that one kilogram of waste like uh, we can say 0.3 like uh, 0.3 kilogram that is uh, carbohydrate 0.3 uh, 0.2 kilogram that is protein 0.3 kilogram that is water moisture content like that okay the waste composition uh, that is nothing but what are the major component which is present inside the waste so the waste composition merely depending on social uh, socio economic status of a particular territory or a country or a community also it depends on the income the income is directly proportional to purchase power purchasing power so lifestyle then composition pattern and the cultural behavior okay these are the different factors which are affecting the waste composition so if i talk about like a, a pie chart is given for you uh, it's a community consider a community uh, in that uh, we collected a number of we collected a certain amount of waste in that we found that 27 percentage of the waste is belong to paper 13 percentage is belong to plastic the contribution of metal waste is 9 percentage where the contribution of glass is 4 percentage contribution of food is 15 percentage this is basically a composition okay these are called a composition segments so we uh, as we can say that the waste composition will be depending on the uh, given factors it depends on the income mainly uh, income is directly proportional to purchasing power purchasing power then moisture content is also matters like uh, whether the density of the waste what kind of waste uh, you are uh, taking care or considering then relative distribution of the municipal waste these are the different factors which are affecting the composition of the waste so for example you can see the composition you can identify paper so for low income group it is varies from one to four percentage for high income group the paper usage is very high uh, if i talk about like a, a plastic for the uh, high income group it is also high for the low income group it is very uh, like a less if i talk about the ash well low income group generally in general assumption we consider uh, they are mainly using for the uh, wood for like a uh, cooking purpose because of that ash content is very much high where high income group most of the people are using induction stove at the such situation uh, it varies from 3 to 10 percent it is less only compared to low income group these are some anticipations and assumptions that you need to follow up so we if we talk about like a moisture content low income group the moisture content is very much high in their waste if i talk about the high income group the moisture content is actually less compared to uh, low income group regarding the waste production bulk density density if i talk about the density so low income group usually produce high density waste where high income group produced less density density waste that's another assumption okay these are called the content or composition now one of the very important question for your university exam point of view what are the various factors which are affecting uh, the waste composition you have to check prepare a checklist first one is called a geographical location it includes climate plantation vegetation okay uh, those parameters are directly impacting uh, then humidity you can say season uh, season also will be depending on like a generation of agricultural waste for example during uh, monsoon during monsoon uh, like, during monsoon and some some uh, yield will be produced during monsoon where some other yield like mangoes that is produced during uh, summer season then collection frequency that is very important parameter a way of collecting the waste the quantity the quantity how much amount of quantity is produced uh, then what kind of what type of organization is taking care of the waste management collection frequency whether the municipality people are they visiting twice in a day or once in a day how like uh, how often they are visiting in our house or residential area or commercial area for collecting the waste other one is called the population diversity population diversity the amount of waste generated is more in low income area compared to high income area that is one assumption okay uh, depends on where wherever you are living where you are living that matters a lot other parameter is ex extent of salvaging and recycling so scope of uh, like uh, recycling the existence of salvaging and recycling operation within the community definitely affect the quantity of waste collected 
So sometimes uh, at the time of sorting itself, most of the waste will be taken back. Okay, so that there are if 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 some waste are dedicated only for recycling, the amount of waste production will be less. So these are the various factors which are affecting the waste composition, which you need to understand for your knowledge purpose as well as for your exam point of view. Okay. Now I'll be moving on to the next slide. Public attitude is also a very important factor. So willingness to change. Okay, so most of the people are resistant to change, but uh, uh, see, it depends on the attitude of the people. Then legislation, it includes the local rule, regulations, uh, then uh, uh, like uh, uh, legislation, okay, uh, uh, how to control the waste. So these are the various factors which are affecting the waste composition. Now I'm going to conclude the session. In this video, you have learned what do you mean by waste generation? What are the major sources of waste generation in general? Later on, you studied a block diagram. From this block diagram, you have come to know that uh, the each and every stages, there are chances of producing the waste. And uh, you have studied the scope of recycling. Later on, we discussed about uh, the, uh, the different sector, how they are contributing for the waste generation. So uh, later on, you discussed about the waste composition, meaning of waste composition. And uh, like, uh, why waste? what is the need for significance of waste composition? Thereafter, we have discussed about the various factors which are affecting the waste composition. For example, geographical location, season, uh, public attitude, legislation, etc. Let me know if you have any queries. I'm very happy to answer back. Happy learning. Have a great day.